Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you know, in these two enclosures here are my two P. Rufalatas, and I'll be rehousing them into bigger enclosures tomorrow, so please stay tuned for that video tomorrow. These freshly malted around five, six days ago, so they should be okay to rehouse tomorrow. Um, two weeks ago, my daughter's Bracky Palmer Alberceps freshly malted, so that one is due a feed. And 24 hours later, my daughter's Green Bottle Blue malted. So them two will definitely need a feed today. Uh, we have another malt up here, which is my Lampropalma via Salopis. I'm sorry about the, the light there. Um, looks like she might have transfer impaction, which I've had before from another Lampropalma via Salopis. Uh, I can't do much about the impaction at the moment because she only freshly malted around four or five days ago. But while we're here guys, let's grab these two enclosures and give my daughter's tarantulas a feed. So guys, here is the Brachypalma albiceps enclosure. So let's just take the lid off. And I can't believe it's been uh, two weeks already. So let's just zoom in. And there it is just there. Absolutely beautiful. Nearly the inch mark. So let's get a a black cricket and give it a feed. I'll be surprised if it's not hungry. So here goes everyone. I'm really hoping that this one is a male so I can breed it with my adult female. Just move that enclosure a little bit. There we go. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that watched my latest video on the amazing Princess Sophie Pink. Just give that cricket a little touch. Hopefully, she'll get a take down. No? No, oh, that's unusual. I won't give up just yet. Or Another try. I don't think it's interested to be fair, guys. But I won't let this cricket go to waste. I'll uh, use it for the green bottle blue. No, doesn't seem interested, which is a little bit uh, surprising. But all you can do is, oh, I don't want the spider to get out. It's decided to. So let's just take the cricket out. Give the tarantula. A little bit of a touch because I want it to go back inside the enclosure. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll just spray the enclosure so we can take a drink and I'll try it again in a couple of days. So guys, there is the Green Bottle Blues enclosure and you can see the monk which is just situated down there. So guys, there is the monk just down here. And like I said, it monted 13 days ago so it should be Okay to give it a feed, so let's get a nice large black cricket and let's see if it's hungry. So here goes everyone. Oh, bam! <laughs> a little bit of a dedication there guys to the the legend, Tarantula Guy 1976, he's back as you know. Nice to see him back. Rob C. And there we go, guys, a nice close-up of the green bottle blue taking its uh, meal into its hide. And uh, personally, I think that this green bottle blue is a male. I've noticed you do have a lot of males when you have slings. If you had ten slings, you'd probably have nine males, one female. So I've got a, a green bottle blue as well, and that one's malted, so I'll show you that one now. So guys, here is my green bottle blue, so let's just take the lid off. And there is the tarantula on the left hand side, and there is the malt as well. This one malted three days ago, so it's definitely not due a feed yet. I always give my tarantulas around about a week to recover, depending on how big they are. If it's a huge, you know, tarantula that's seven inches or more, I'll give it two weeks to recover. So I always leave the malt in there for a couple of days. I don't think they eat it because their fangs are really, really soft. I personally think that they grab moisture from it. 
So yeah, absolute stunning. Probably another male, which I've had two males before. And um, yeah, absolutely stunning. So I'll leave this one for a few more days to recover and I'll give that one a feed. But unfortunately, guys, we have a little bit of sad news in the collection again. Uh, the mature male Embalphoria sadly passed away. So let's take a look. So everyone, there he is. There's the mature male Embal 40, which wasn't mine. I've uh, messaged the person who kindly sent me this mature male and uh, I've told him that he sadly passed away. He was an adult male, a mature male when I actually had him. And I've had him a while, so depending on what species you have, some can live 12 months after maturity, some can live four years. It just depends on what kind of species you have. So let's just take him out. And unfortunately, my female hasn't laid the sack. But unfortunately, that's just the way it goes, guys. So everyone, like I said, these are my two P. Rufalatas, which I'll be rehousing tomorrow. So please stay tuned for that video tomorrow. And thanks for watching, everyone.